Well, Patricia back from Love Healing Hearts. And today I'm going to encourage you and me in the Word. Psalms 37, three verses, starting at verse 3 to 5. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord and trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Now, I read that because I am encouraging myself in the Lord as I encourage you. So let's all of us be encouraged together, shall we? Listen, I just had a game played on me, and I know that I shared it with you a little while ago. And it was an attempt to, uh, it was an identity theft scam on Facebook. And um, the part that I am really struggling with is the fact that I thought my dream was going to come true to have a church given to me by the hand of God with all the financial provision my heart could dream of. And it didn't happen. And you know we can't look to the church to support us because churches just for some reason, they neglect their women. It's sad, but it's true. So we have to look to God. <laughs> and um, I just say that to say to all of you, God is not a second class God. God is not tacky. He is true to his promise. And we have to stand by him. We have to encourage ourselves and remind ourselves of all the miracles that he has done in our lives. Am I right or wrong? And when we remember the goodness of the Lord, and we remember his faithfulness and his kind acts of mercy, it will encourage us to look forward to him fulfilling our promises, our heart's desire and his promises. Because what God has for us, it is for us. And even though we have to fight and struggle with disappointment and discouragement, no matter what kind of games people play, God is faithful. God is good. And I give him all the praise and glory because I know one day he will give me the desires of my heart. I believe he put the desire there in the first place. Now with the identity theft person, with the kind of money they were going to give me, I was looking forward to getting a building and paying it in advance for three, four, five years. That would have been wonderful. And being able to do community outreach and and uh, support groups and inner healing ministries and it was it, I mean we were going to do all kind of things we were going to have widow support groups we were going to have abuse uh, addiction I mean everything you can come up with under the sun and I was going to collaborate with leaders and professionals from other churches so that we could really have an all-inclusive holistic ministry of the gospel where the word is not just to teach us how to go to heaven and how not to go to hell but how to navigate through all of the things we have to deal with in this life here on this planet so I say that to say <laughs> be encouraged please be encouraged because even though your plans may have been thwarted or your dreams may have been stuck on the back burner or buried for that matter, you can still dig them up because remember, God is the God of the resurrection. 
Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. So believe on him. Believe that whatever it is that you may have given up on, that you may have thrown in the towel on, it can still happen because with God, all things are possible. Amen. Don't be downhearted. Don't be discouraged to the point where you give up, where you decide, well, it must not be for me because God just seemed to have forgotten about me. No, that's not the kind of God you serve. That's not the kind of God he is. He is faithful to his promise to commit and do and fulfill and complete what he has started. He has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten me. Because there are too many souls, too many lives out there, too many people who desperately need him, who desperately need to understand who he is. And who better to explain but you and me? So, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on his promises. God bless you.